Can't wait to get me a burger. Burger, burger, burger. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to order a very funky burger indeed. I would like to have one burger and fries combo, please, to go. Well, what else do you have? What do you recommend? Mm, delicious. Can I have a, a grilled cheese with bacon, please? Welcome to Jam. Our first guest tonight is Phil Allister, a man who I had the pleasure of meeting when we were babies in the, uh, the Soviet circus corps uh, in South Africa. Uh, we ended up moving to uh, Tunisia together where uh, he joined a, an obscure law firm that did tap dances for elderly British ladies. Uh, since then, I believe that was 1998, since then I haven't had the pleasure of speaking to him. In fact, he kind of disappeared for a while and rumor has it he's conducting the Vienna Philharmonic which, of course, plays mainly hip-hop covers of Macy Gray songs. Anyway, I'm very pleased to have him in the flesh for an interview tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Phil Allister.
That was great. Now I have one question. Where is Phil Allister? Where is Phil Allister? Um, to be honest, I never really met Phil. When I joined the band, it was kind of in disrepair. I mean, when Phil disappeared, they kind of like lost motivation. Uh, but Matt kind of held on to it and started getting some of his other friends, you know, involved. And uh, we just started rebuilding it. And uh, we're at where we're at today just because of the memory of Phil. When I joined the band, um, it was like a pretty new kind of lineup. Like it didn't really settle. Uh, Phil, I didn't, I didn't even know like who he was, what was going on. I just knew that he, uh, he was a part of the whole scene for a while. Then he kind of like faded out. There's a couple stories floating around as to what actually happened to him, but I don't really know what the real deal is. Matt, Matt would probably know, um, so it's probably better to ask him. Back in the day, I had Twilly Goats. It's an old guitar player. I had him, I had the Greek, and Phil. It's a great songwriter. But, uh... Most of the songs and lyrics uh, were actually written by Matt and Phil in that brief period that they were in the band together. And a lot of them uh, are based off the journal from Phil's travels. Phil Allister left us behind a shoebox that he used to live out of, full of uh, fully written songs and half written songs, and we just kind of take them from there. Some of them are our own side things that we bring in, but a lot of them are just Phil's shit. <laughs> 